What's up, cringe kids? So a lot of you guys have been asking me really great questions on the fainting video that I posted almost like four months ago, and it has been blowing up. So thank you so much for everyone who subscribed, liked, and watched the video. Um, so I thought that in today's video, I'll just kind of give you guys an update on the new bebes I got for Christmas, and just on everyone in general. And I did get another new pet, so that's gonna be very exciting. So let's get started. All right, you guys. So this is my cow that I got for Christmas. Her name is Bonnie. She's a Highlander. And I'm gonna give you guys the real truth about you, okay? You're fine. Hey, here, stop it, Bonnie. That's not being nice. You gotta be a nice cow. The camera's on you, okay? You gotta be nice. You gotta be nice. Hey, that's mean. See what I'm talking about? So basically, what's happening with her is, so she is very sassy and bossy, which I'm not used to because I'm used to little innocent cows like Baby Bailey where they come up to you just for attention, but she loves her food. So much that like she'll be willing to charge at me and Bailey for food. So guys, I forgot to mention that she gets fed plenty of food, so it's not like she's starving and that's why she has aggression towards me. I don't know why she doesn't like me. I'm nice to her, I feed her. I have a consistent schedule with her, and so it's not that, like, she's not getting fed enough because there's always extra hay out there, extra grain out there, and so I don't know what her deal is, but I just thought I, thought I needed to add that in. Food, and if I come in here with a grain, with a bucket full of grain, she will go crazy at me if I don't drop it. She's jumped the fence before. This fence right here, and luckily we had this fenced in right here so that she can so that she couldn't get in with the other cows. She's right behind the camera right now. Um, hey, stop doing that! Oh my gosh, and she does not like to be pet. Like, what the heck? And so it's like, I don't know if I should put her in with the other cows. And then, because right now Bailey is scared just to, like, come over and, like, lay down by me. Which she never used to be scared to do that with me. But she's scared that Bonnie's gonna end up coming at her because Bonnie's done that before. It's like, I'll pet you, but you don't like it. So, what's the point? Hey! See what I'm talking about? She just doesn't like to be pet. And it's like, if I put her in with other cows, then it's like, I'm gonna give up on you because then we're gonna lose all of our connection. And you're like, and you guys are probably like, oh no, like, you can still stop your back and me in a corner. I'm not going that way today. No, Bonnie. Anyways, like I was saying, you guys are like, oh, we well, can still feed her, but it's not the same because my dad takes care of. That's another question that I wanted to get to. All right, so one of you guys asked in the fainting video, who does what chores or if I get any help or something like that. I don't know. I'll put it up if I can find it though. So here's the tea for that. I take care of all my sheep, Bailey, Bonnie, the rabbits, the pigs. The people who my dad take, the people, <laughs> the bebes that my dad take care of are all the cows that are in this pen and Duke and Leo and the donkey. Um, and then I feed the rabbits in the morning and he feeds the rabbits in the night because we're 50-50 partners in that little business. So if you guys hear snoring, it's Larry. He's sleeping right now. Um, yeah, no, I take care of all of my pets and my dad takes care of his beef cows and angus bebes and duke and leo and the donkey so you're also probably wondering now how on earth do you feed all these animals when you have school the answer to that is i just have to wake up earlier because it takes me forever to feed all these babies but if it means i can have them then i'm gonna do anything of course okay guys so a little update on hamilton all he does is sleep he'll get up for about an hour eat and then he'll just go back to sleep He's made Martha all lazy. That's okay. He's just my big little polar bear. Aren't you, Hamilton? <laughs> He's so cute, you guys. Literally, whenever he'll get up to eat, he literally looks like a polar bear. And he's just like, oh, I'm an old grandpa. <laughs> all right, you guys. So I thought that it would be kind of interesting to see how nice our bull Hank is. So if you guys don't know, we got him from the cow auction. And when you shop at the cow auction, shop. When you ever you buy something from the cow auction, you don't really know like what you're getting and a lot of times you're not able to talk to their owners. Um, we were able to talk to his owners, but that still doesn't mean if they're nice because like Bonnie's owners, they were very nice. She is feisty. So, so we're going to see how much he trusts me, how much, 
how nice he is. Um, he is laying down right now, and that's a really good way to tell if an animal has a lot of trust with you is if you can walk up to them when they're laying down. Because cows, horses, a lot of animals are flight or fight animals. And so if they're laying down, they're not able to run up, and that's why a lot of horses sleep standing up. Ours don't become comfortable and safe at our house. So I'm gonna set up the camera and see what happens. Hopefully I don't die, because my parents aren't home right now. So a lot of you guys have been asking me what kind of sheep I have, and they're called baby dolls. That's what they're called for short. I'll put the like the legitimate name up here. Um, so yeah, in case we want to get them, they're super nice, short, and fluffy. Hi, Sophie. Hi. Oh, and by the way, talking about sheep, we're gonna be moving Ugbor back in with Lavi because he's almost done breeding you babies. Yeah. Oh, Sophie. <laughs> I got another baby. Not a sheep. I'll show you guys here in the next clip. I actually bought it with my own money. And yeah, I'll just show you guys. All right, guys, here's the new baby. Little baby bunny. She's actually not a baby. She's like, I don't even know how old you are. I think she's like 12, 13 weeks old now. Um, but she costs $100. Like, I normally sell my baby bunnies for like $10. <laughs> $10 or $15. But the reason why, like, I don't really need more rabbits. Well, I always need more rabbits, but, like, <laughs> let me clarify it. I have enough rabbits, but for show and for fair, none of them were the right colors. Um, Norman's not the right color. Guy Guy is the right color, but his ears aren't the correct thing. Sugar Plum is the right color, but she's too small. Or Little Baby Lucy has the right color, but she has streaks of white in it, so can't do and boomerang's getting too old i needed a new rabbit and this is like the only one on craigslist so i had to like cave in and buy you but you are very friendly she loves water which scares me like summer is so stressful for me living on a farm because i spend literally the whole entire day watering all the animals like i will literally go out to the rabbit barn probably like four times a day to check on them i have fans going frozen water bottles in their cages for them like it's just so stressful and then flies and wiping down the clouds and the horses fly spray water it's just so stressful and so i feel like you're gonna have some trouble with the heat but hopefully hopefully we can have a good fair this year hopefully it actually happens this year here she is though like look at how cute she is she's color blue which is very special if you don't know um yeah here she is i don't really have a name for her other than baby blue so she's just a sweetheart can you say hi to the cringe kids this is probably her first time being a vlogger um so yeah i hope that you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to subscribe to your friends stay cringy and we will see you in the next one bye